There are dreamers. And there are realists in this world. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Last No Meal and thank you so much for watching this video. So, let me ask you a question. What would happen if Max Payne and Mass Effect had a baby? What would it be? Let me tell you, it would be Warframe. Well, Warframe is a third person shooter game that is pretty much set in the universe and what you do is you go around and attack the ships and kill some people. So that's pretty amazing. And it has it is developed by Digital Extremes. Uh, you can visit their site at www.warframe.com and uh, yeah, it's pretty much amazing. I do love this game. I've been playing it for a really decent time. I played it in closed beta. I played it in in open beta, and uh, so far I have been so thrilled about this game. Why? But first thing, it's really good. The story is uh, not pretty the best thing about this game, it's not really super special, uh, but it has some story in, in, in the game, like, they're Tano, like, uh, they're like an ancient race of, 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 of warriors from the Orokin era on Earth, I don't even know what Orokin era is, but yeah, and they're basically preserved in, in cryostatus and they're now awakened for a new war. So your objective pretty much is to go into the enemy ship and make a havoc there. So you have few objectives that you get like in every mission. You can uh, kill lots of people that you can like exterminate the whole ship. You can uh, shut down the ship. You can uh, free the hostages and etc. etc. So there are tons of, of missions that you can do. And also there's a boss fight. So boss fights are pretty much amazing. I've uh, played two of boss fights so far and so far I've been really really satisfied why uh, boss fights are amazing they are really not that static like boring boss fights we're just hey let's click left button let's uh, aim and let's kill him and let's do that no it's not like that you have like really really movable, movable bosses that uh, do different uh, attacks and different uh, powers on you that really damage you and their health is amazingly high so they like replenish their shield right away, so it's really good. I really like that game for the whole gameplay style. It's like playing that game. It's like playing Max Payne in space and playing Mass Effect basically. So it does remind of Mass Effect a lot because of abilities and the models. You can't really make a, make a like cover from the around something an object. You can duck behind it, but it doesn't like make a an animation where you just go around the cover and uh, you can shoot people people from there. It's not like they picked everything from Mass Effect. I mean, I'm not trying to say that this game is a ripoff of Mass Effect. It's not really. It's, it's really good. It's really independent, and I really like it. I like it because it's free to play. Yes, it's, this game is really free to play. Why? Um, I don't know why it's free to play. <laughs> But I do like it, and it it makes me happy because I see a lot of of of, of free to play games becoming better and better. Like you have Firefall, you have Warframe, you have uh, what was that name? Uh, World of Tanks, if I'm not mistaken. Like it's not really a, a special game, but a lot of people play it. And you have League of Legends that started it all, pretty much. So yeah, League of Legends in, is the like the most played free to play game all times I don't know so it kind of really puts a happy face on me <laughs> a smile on my face when I see a lot of games that are free to play that are coming out and they're really good so let me tell you about something about factions the games so we have like a few factions you have greener which are like the enemies greener or something like that which are like the enemies and I don't know what they are like from wild empires of the earth. So I think the earth is is uh, is colonized or something like that. I didn't really catch the story a little bit. So if you watch the trailer, if if you visit their wiki, you can really find uh, everything you need to to know about this game. The story isn't really that big. I know if it's gonna be big in 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 a later like release like release of the game because this game is still in open beta so if you're lucky you're gonna get the key so I'm gonna leave the their page in the comment section below so you ha you can go there and uh, basically sign up for beta and if you're lucky you get the key and there are few sites also that give the key 
like instantly so if you're lucky you can get the key right away and let me tell you something about the faction you're playing with uh, they're called Tenno and as I've said they're kinda descendants of the ancient mythical civilizations of the lost warriors from Orokin era on earth and let me tell you I don't know what Orokin era is so you have to find that by yourself if you want or find out later I don't know so this game you have Warframes. Uh, Warframes a lot are like exo armors with different abilities you can buy. Like you have like three starter uh, Warframes. Uh, that's Loki, Excalibur, and Volt. Uh, Excalibur is more like a soldier, and it's kind of like a I don't know marine or something like that. While Loki is something like a stealthy guy that has uh, a lot of abilities uh, like stealthy and really good that I really like so it's it's awesome it has like decoy invisibility and you know uh, Volt is kind of a I don't know space magician I can say that he has like shock speed the shield he's like something like a support like he's really good at that but I usually play Excalibur because Excalibur is awesome with 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 weapons and uh, Every like weapon, even including the melee weapon, yes you have melee weapons also that you can use, you have swords, you can buy hammers, you can buy axes, you can buy staffs that you can also use, that's amazing. So if you run out of ammo, you can go and uh, yeah, kill people with melee weapons. You also have um, you also have crafting system, so you get the you get the blueprint from market or you find blueprint in, in one of the missions or levels and you collect the things that need like ingredients and you go craft yourself a new weapon or new melee weapon or new range weapon like pistol or like assault war rifle or I don't know I got a melee weapon not long ago which I crafted and then believe me it takes a shit ton of items to, to craft and a shit ton of money but it's worth because uh, weapons that you create are really really good um we uh, what did I wanna say next uh, yes yeah, skill tree so your Warframe has, comes with four uh, abilities, like, I don't know, slice the enemies and boom boom boom, so lots of abilities that you can use. And you have a skill tree on your Warframe, you have a skill tree on your weapons, like on weapons that increase like damage, reload speed, uh, critical damage, and on your Warframe you can upgrade armor, you can upgrade stamina, you can upgrade health, and that's what's really good, that's what making me really go through the game lots of times and uh, yeah I really like it so you go around there's only Milky Way so far and you go around different planets visiting their ships and taking them over uh, yeah you can also upgrade your weapons and and Warframe with lots of mods like they increase health and and other things etc etc but planets are really amazing there's also Pluto and as you all know Pluto is not a planet it's like a gas giant and I don't want to bother with those details because I you probably uh, you're not pretty interested in that are you so let's sum this up the game is pretty good and I really like it so you're basically a guy a third person and yeah I didn't say you can play with your friends you can play online and you can play solo so there's four player co-op so you go with four people or four friends and you go take over the ship I think the enemies variate from how much people is there on your game so if there's four people there will be more enemies and that's what awesome what's awesome also if your friend disconnects it doesn't really disconnect your game so it really like loads level one more time and you continue where you left off alone you can finish the mission and if your internet connection goes off you can continue also so that's amazing that's really good about this game and I want to thank the devs because they are releasing patches every few days and that's amazing so if there is a glitch you report it and boom after five days or four I know how much days it's removed and that's what I like about this there's also an uh, in-game money and real money uh, system in the games so you can buy platinum chips like something like that over real money and it's not really that much pay to win because this game is not PvP it's PvE but it's it's a little bit pay to win because it gets you really nice items and you can't really get those items really fast in the game you have to really try hard to get those items but I don't suggest buying platinum yet only if you wanna uh, if you wanna go like through the levels faster but 
yeah, if you if you're that sort of guy that has a lot of money, then yeah, go buy some platinum and support the developers because uh, they're awesome. And I'm not paid to say this. I'm just saying this because I want to. Uh, yeah, I also am gonna record some Warframe and uh, put some episodes on my channel. And uh, if you're interested, go and see it. And I have been recording for so long. Okay, let's sum this up. So Warframe is a third-person game which I really like, and. Uh, yeah, so definitely download the game if you get the beta key. I don't know when this game is gonna come out. I think it's gonna come out soon. I don't know when, but it's gonna come out soon. Yeah, so thank you for watching this. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or share or add favorites. And if you wanna stay updated and if you wanna see more of this stuff, then, then subscribe. And if I get to 20 likes, I will make more stuff. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. This was Last for Meal, and as always, play a game, be 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 happy, and uh, yeah, watch my videos. So this was Last for Meal signing out, and I'll see you really soon. Goodbye. You see, the dreamers need the realists to keep them from soaring too close to the sun.